What is mean by recovery? Will you able to answer or not? Samanvita. Yes, sir. Yeah, what, what, what uh, do you understand we, by the word recovery here? When we commit the transaction. Okay. It can be recoverable. When you? After, re, after writing and reading the transaction, if it is committed, we can recover the data of it. In what context we are using the term recovery? When we lost the data. Yeah, exactly, exactly. When the transaction fails. Yeah, when the transaction fails in the middle, there is a uh, chance of uh, losing the data. When then in that context, we are actually talking about the recovery of the data. Just simple example, uh, like a, a bank transaction example, A is sending money to B. Uh, B, A money is debited, but to B it is not credited. So whatever the amount that is debited from A must be refunded, right? Because it is not a complete transaction. The transaction is not completed. So then the amount must be refunded, right? So in that context, we actually use the recovery concept. So for that, we will use different techniques. So a simple example here is the consider transaction DI. So that is transferring the amount from uh, A to account uh, A to account B. Okay. So as we know that the basic condition of a database is either all the database modifications should be done or none. There is no off completion. Yes or no? That is called atomicity. The atomicity concept, as you know, like either all the database modifications should be done or none. That means there is no like only the debiting from your account and not crediting to others account. It should not happen like that. Either, either it should not debit from your account or it should be credited to other person account. There should not be any, own, uh, any half transaction or incomplete transaction. Transaction must be complete. Okay. And next, uh, a failure may occur after one of these modifications. Failure may occur. The problem is when we are performing these operations, a failure may occur. Uh, okay, a failure may occur after one of these modifications have been made. Uh, so we have to ensure that atomicity should be followed despite all the failures. Atomicity should be there. The fundamental condition is atomicity we have actually discussed in the acid properties. Can you abbreviate what is what are the acid properties? Acid mean anyone? Hello? Can you hear me? We can. Can you abbreviate acid? Acid properties, I mean. Atomicity, consistency. Atomicity, consistency, isolation, duration, isolation and durability. Okay. Atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. Okay. So to ensure the database consistent uh, consistency or uh, database should be in a consistent state only when we follow these four uh, uh, properties, right? So when we want to recover, uh, when we want to achieve this atomicity, we have to recover the uh, like uh, information. We have to recover the data. Okay. So, so that can be possible by using the two methods. One is a log based recovery and the other one is shadow paging. Right. Log based recovery and shadow paging. So log based recovery, all of you know that whenever you uh, do something on the system, it will create a, some file which you can open with a notepad, simple notepad. 
I think you might have observed when you install a software, uh, when you perform any specific operation, sometimes it will create uh, some text uh, files, .txt file, which you can simply open with a notepad. Generally, it is referred to as log in technical terms. So that is called log file. So similar way, like whenever you're performing the transaction in the database, for every transaction, this uh, database system is going to create log files. And this log file is kept on the st stable storage, right? Hello? This log file is kept on the stable storage. And uh, it is going to have a record of whatever the activities that we are performing on the database, right? So it maintains the record of updated activities on the database. So when the transaction TI starts, simply it will be writing uh, TI start in the log record. Hello? So. Completes all of you need to rejoin to get the same link, okay? Do remember that, okay? okay. Right. We have 10 minutes time around. All right. So whenever the transaction TI starts, it will be creating a log record of TI start log record, right? So before the TI will execute write of X, a log record of TI comma X comma V1 comma V2 is written. Okay. Are you getting what I'm saying? So whenever it completes this one operation, for example, uh, it is updating a value or writing a value. You know, we have taken general example, read of a and uh, a plus 100, a is equals to a plus 100 and write of a. 